So it's complete, and now you can see that it um, shows you that the maximum variation caused by move one is two millimeters, move two is 2.4, move three is 1.48. If I click on these, it actually will color map this so you can click through your moves, okay, and the color map is all looking the same and that's because I fixed my uh, color map toolbar here. So since I can see that the maximum variation here is 2.5. I'm going to come over here to my color map toolbar, change this to 2.5. Okay, so now you can see it will show you, okay, this move, you know, has more, worse effect on the knuckle than this one. You know, and it gets better and better. So with this with the locator sensitivity analysis, I can look at multiple different locating strategies for the same part and see which one is, you know, least sensitive or, you know, controls the part the best. And obviously, obviously the bigger the spread, the, you know, more controlled the, the part will be. We, we know that from a cheating T and dimensional management. But, you know, some stuff that's really interesting is I would have I actually made up these options, and you can see this locator um, move number four, I would have thought was going to be my best option because I thought it was a bigger spread. But it's actually not as good as move number three. So one of the things that this is telling me is that the original design of a knuckle, you know, where the, the ball joints are hovering straight above the axis, you know, that's a better design. This, this is the exact same location system as the original one, except a bigger spread. If I go down farther and up higher and farther out, I get the best results. So then you can see, if I want, I could change this, and I could say, well, just show me the X variation. Okay, and you can see the X variation is less. <clears throat> Or I could say, just show me the Y variation. So you can break this down by variation. And this is looking at the overall part. Or you can look at each individual locator. Okay, if you turn it on and you want to look at each individual locator, now you can see that it's showing you that this is the move, and this is locator number one, locator number two, and locator number three. And you can see the overall variation effect of each locator. So not only does it tell you, you know, which move is more sensitive or less sensitive or you know, produces less variation, you can, you can analyze which locator in that move is more sensitive so then you can start seeing if there's ways you can adjust that. So and because I only have one part in my move list, then it's only listing one part here, but I have four different moves for that particular uh, part. <clears throat>